That is just fun right there, guys. If you guys love these kid videos where you pretty much learn how to catch more fish. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. These intros just came. These intros get crazy sometimes. But today, what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is how to fish a Ned Rig. I have been wanting to make this video for a while. I never knew about it until probably a few months ago. I saw Fluke come out here. We did a little 1v1 challenge. He was using a Ned Rig and it really sparked me to use it. I've known about the Ned Rig for years, but I never, you know, really went out there and actually tried it myself. I was kind of like, I'm a power fisherman. I don't really slow down much. So I was like, you know what? I wanna start learning it. So a few weeks back, I started fishing it a lot. I figured out different ways to catch fish with it. And I was like, man, I really wanna share this with you guys because a lot of people just go out there you know they probably follow all the videos online that just show you the basic ways to fish a Ned Rig and I was like I just want to teach you guys something different and show you guys different ways to fish this and how I fish the bait to catch more fish especially on different conditions so let's go ahead and get this video started so everyone I actually stopped by Walmart yes you can get these at Walmart if you guys don't know this is by Z-Man and I got the old little mushroom heads right here the shrooms by uh, by Z-Man I thought I felt something crawling on my leg kind of freaked me out. I, I got two different colors so these are the finesse TRDs, these little wiener looking bait. That's what we're gonna call them. Instead of the Ned Rig, we're gonna call this a little wiener. I'm um, hashtag little wiener below. I got two different colors. So this one is actually the Canada crawl. And then I got the California crawl, which I really love. I'm a big fan of California 420, the California crawl type deal. This one's pretty much like half watermelon red, half black and red, which is an outstanding color. I always smack them on that. It's gonna be really good. Honestly, you're gonna catch them in dirty and clear water on this color, on either of these colors. Um, let me get a little up close shot for this. So these are the two colors right here. This is the California Crawl. As you guys can tell, it's got, you know, it's a little natural color. And then it's got that black and red flake on one side. And then the green pumpkin or uh, watermelon red on the other side. And this one's more of like, I guess you could say like a candy color on this side. And then a green pumpkin on this. It's both split half and half. These are both really great natural colors. If you guys didn't know, Z-Man, all their soft plastics are made out of Elastec. So therefore, they're very, very stretchy. I know that sounds a little crazy. These baits are very, very stretchy. And I had one comment on one of my last videos when I was fishing a Ned Rig, and it was, how do you rig this thing? So I'm gonna simply show you right here. You got this little pointy end right here. You're not gonna wanna go through that. You're gonna go through the top. And this isn't a weedless style right here. So you're just gonna go right through the head. You're gonna push it up on the hook. When you get about this far, break that bad boy through, just like that. And then you're gonna slide the bait up on the hook. And then you have it simply like that, as you can tell, very sexy, very clean right there. I did mess up that bait when I was pulling it apart a little bit, but that is uh, simple right there. Really clean rig. As you guys can tell, like it's not gonna come off very easy. It's a very tough bait, and uh, just simply slides right up onto that mushroom head. I think we got a real life Ned rig right here. Oh man, the real life old wiener, old wiener bait. The last thing I would like to talk about is I have my little fade black uh, spinning rod right here. This is just a medium power. And then I have the Creed GT by 13 fishing spinning reel. This is on 20 pound braid. And then I have a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. You're gonna need light line if this obviously on a spinning rod. I rarely throw spinning rods, guys. Rarely, rarely, rarely throw spinning rods. I keep my stuff very simple, especially when I'm out on ponds like this. But I got my old Nevrig right here. Got my old spinning rod. And let's go catch some fish. So there is many different ways that you can fish this bait. I haven't been fishing this thing long, but I have been fishing it long enough to realize, you know, what works best for me, how I've pretty much been catching them recently, that these fish have really been just tearing it up and it's really a finesse bait that these fish just cannot stand. Whether they're big or small fish, they just eat it up. A lot of people say, you know, this thing only catches small fish. I beg to differ on that. I know a lot of buddies that have caught some massive, massive fish on a Ned Rig. It is not just a small fish bait, I can promise you that. It will catch some big ones for sure. As I say that, I catch like a four inch. <laughs> Look at that, right down his mouth right there. Little baby dude. First fish, man. That is not the size that we're looking for. There's a lot of grass and stumps around here that's really close to the bank that I'm pretty much sitting here flipping around. As you guys know, this thing is not a weedless bait. Hook is very exposed, so you're gonna have to be very careful when working this thing around. Cover like this, especially in a pond, and if I was all on the lake, it'd be slightly different the way I'm fishing this, but I'm showing you guys how to fish this in a pond today. I'm simply just flipping this thing around this, all this grass and all these little trees. I'm doing something very simple. I'm hopping my rod like this. See what I mean? I'm keeping it out of that grass. I'm not letting it soak down in that grass at all. I'm just hopping my rod. And so what that bait's doing is it's hopping off the bottom. It's going pop, 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 pop. It's kind of like it's swimming through. I'm not working it slow whatsoever. I'm really keeping that bait moving. One, so I can get that 
you know, I'm not going to sit here and get this thing hooked up on a bunch of grass and get a lot of stuff on this hook. And two, I just want to cover a lot of water at the same time while still having a little finesse approach to catch those fish. Just depending on the day, you know, it's going to be a lot different with the conditions, whether those fish are going to be active or not and how I'm going to work this bait because there's going to be a lot of different ways I'm going to work this just depending on how the day is. These fish are going to be active where they're going to be slow and today i'm just kind of feeling out how these fish are because obviously i just got out here on this pond and i'm trying to figure out what these fish want what i'm doing is i'm doing like a triple hop pop 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 the bait's dashing side to side let that thing drop pop 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 let it drop pop 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 and those fish if they're around that cover and they're ready to eat they're going to come out and eat this thing Like an old fish right here. But I was doing something a lot different than what I was saying. That is a very dark fish. Look at the colors on that thing. That is crazy. He's a little thick, stubby one for sure. This is the one thing that I love about baits like this is pretty much you can switch them up so much. So as I, as I was telling you guys, there's a lot of grass right here, a lot of stumps, and I was sitting there just covering water. You know, I was sitting there popping my rod, working the bait very, very fast there. I didn't really have that many bites. So what I did is I started to work down the bank but instead of really popping that thing fast, what I ended up doing was I was throwing my bait out there and working it a lot slower, kind of hopping it just barely off the bottom like a little worm. Like the first cast, that's when I had that bite. So pretty much I'm just throwing this thing out of there. This is, this is why you need to adjust when you're sitting here fishing and figure out what these fish really want. You know, try different things and really figure out what they're wanting that type of day. Like I can come out here tomorrow and reel this thing at 100 miles an hour and they might want it like that. You, you know, it just, you never know. That's why you're just gonna have to experiment. As you can tell, I'm just barely hopping that thing. Really finesse, like, just like a little shaky head. You hammer me, right? I'm about to say, what is, what is going on there? I knew you hammered me. Right there. I mean, this is nothing much. This fish is not, this pond has a lot of small fish. I'm gonna warn you guys. You guys know that. This is my little tutorial pond. So as you can tell, just a little guy. But that's how they're wanting it today. I can already tell. You know, that you got this sun out. These fish are going to be really pressured. You can just tell when these fish are going to act a lot different. They're not going to want this bait as fast as I was expecting. That just shows you simply adjusting what you're doing. Trying new things when you're out on the water, especially with new baits like this. And you can really get down to the key of what these fish are wanting. Here we go, baby. I caught that one different for sure. I was just swimming that Ned rig. That just shows how many different ways you can catch them on this thing. That's awesome right there. Still me covering water with it. It was, you know, working it pretty fast, but at the same time, I had that finesse approach to it when I was, you know, giving it that pause. Giant, man. Giant. That is a toad right there, homies and homets. Right now, I'm walking down the bank and I just see a few fish, you know, cruising, flipping that bait right in front of them. Now that's another different way. When you're walking the bank, especially at these ponds, you just see these fish just cruising in the shallow water. You target them, just flip right in with this thing. I promise you it's really hard for them to resist this small profile bait. There we go. That is just fun right there, guys. You can't beat that. It's a little finesse rig like this on an old light spinning rod on some light line. Just these little pond fish, letting them fight like that. That's just awesome. I see about three bass right here. Just like that bunch of different ways you can catch fish on this little finesse Ned rig. Side fishing, you know, some schooling fish action, you can throw it in there really throughout that. Fishing around some of this grass and a lot of the trees, and obviously working the bait a bunch of different ways just to catch these fish, especially on a rough day like today. Right, Back here in this corner is a little bit different than the rest of the pond. The ground's just really, really soft. It's really, really nasty. It's got that nasty grass. And so I'm gonna have to work this bait differently, obviously, because it's not weedless. It's got an exposed hook. So I'm pretty much gonna throw this thing out here. I'm gonna start popping my. Just like that. Didn't even have to explain myself. Fish already answered. Just like that, baby. I mean, guys, I just. These tip videos are awesome. I obviously titled this video How to Fish a Ned Rig, and this isn't your standard How to Fish a Ned Rig video. This is just different ways to catch fish and help you guys catch more fish in general. I wanna teach you guys how to fish this Ned Rig, obviously. But all in all, I want to teach you guys how to catch more bass and, uh, you know, every single time you go on a trip and really figure out this fish. So anyways, before I got interrupted by that fish, 
I'm pretty much throwing it out there. I'm not letting it hit the bottom. I'm keeping this bait up, jerking my rod and making sure it's not hitting the hitting the bottom. This is probably a different way that you haven't seen. I don't know. That was a fish right there. I don't know. I haven't really watched any videos online about the Ned Rig. I've kind of just taught myself, you know, how to throw this thing really. You know, I kind of experimented with it. I've never really, you know, watched any videos over it or really how other people fish it. I can tell you one thing. Most people are probably not swimming in this bait like this, but in this grass where all this stuff's nasty on the bottom, you don't have a choice. Like you're either going to swim this bait like this or not throw this bait. And uh, sometimes these fish are just going to... The, the thing about this bait and that little mushroom head with the Ned Rig on it is when I'm popping my rod, there's slight little pops. This bait is darting all over the place. It's not just hopping, it's literally darting all over the place. And it just entices those fish just to come out and just slam it. It gives it such an awesome presentation that those fish just cannot resist. It's hopping that thing just darts right, left, forward, back. If you guys love these tip videos where you pretty much learn how to catch more fish, different ways that nobody's teaching you on the internet, be sure to pepper that thumbs up button. Lemon pepper it below. I hope you guys learned some tips about how to fish this Ned Rig right here. It's a very juicy. Guys, my camera actually died, but there's that little last fish right there. If you guys wanna see some more tip videos like this where I teach you guys how to fish a new bait, more importantly, figuring out those fish at the location that you're at, not just teaching you how to fish the bait. I feel like there a lot goes into it. I can tell you how to teach the bait as much as I want. You know, you guys can go out there and probably not catch anything, but if you guys see, you know, how the conditions are today, how I'm adjusting to the good conditions, how I'm working to bait, to how the fish are acting. I feel like you guys learn a lot more that way, but thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Be sure to pepper that thumbs up button, lemon pepper it below. Be sure to click that subscribe button. Yep, that little red one below, the little red, uh, little rectangle, yep, click that button. And also press a little bell right next to it so it sends you post notifications so you're notified every single upload. And I catch you all in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh I cry cars get hella bands, uh I got a bar from the motherland, uh I got shooters with us, uh I get it, get it up anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars cook every day, uh I get money up uh, every day, uh